on Robin with Oxydry. And uh, we're almost at the end of the book here. And uh, just a few more chapters to go. And uh, this is the book Let's Sell, which was written in 1950. And uh, it's got really good ideas and tips on how to be a good salesman person. And this applies to uh, service, uh, service business as well as products, I think. There's principles in here that can apply to either. So um, I hope you're enjoying it. It's uh, got lots of really funny cartoons in here. And the, the points are really quite good. So let's uh, go to chapter 13, getting in. Occasionally, getting in to see the prospect is a major problem. Sometimes mutual friends can provide an introduction which will get you in. If they can't, you're on your own. To begin with, make up your mind to be legitimate. Don't try to get in anywhere under false pretenses. It's a poor way to start any relationship, and it's a good way to be invited to leave by the 10th story window. <laughs> get in legitimately, even if it takes a little longer. The greatest help in getting in is the feeling that you have a right to get in. If you know that your product will really benefit the prospect, it will get you over many hurdles, or many a hurdle. If you don't know that your product will definitely benefit the prospect, find out. Make an information call, not a sales call. If you can't see the purchasing agent, see if you can get permission to talk to the department heads for informational pur purposes only. The next time you call, you can send in a definite proposition which is bound to interest him. Always tell a secretary precisely why you want to see her boss. Tell her how you can help him. Never lie to her and don't trick her. That's another good point. <laughs> a secretary is a very important person. If she really wants to, she can generally get you in. Don't fall all over her, but remember that she appreciates attention, courtesy, pleasantness, and good humor. If you get turned down, be good-natured about it. Remember, she doesn't like to turn down a nice guy. The more times you come back, the more pressure you put on her, and though you may, may not realize it, on the prospect. If you keep trying long enough and hard enough, you can see anybody. It's just a question of who breaks down first, you or the prospect. Sometimes it helps to make your request for time seem small. This lets the prospect know you aren't going to tie him up all morning, but when you make a statement like this, be meticulous in living up to it. Sometimes the prospect will come into the outer office to talk with you. Usually this is just a polite form of a brush-off. Don't try to sell under these circumstances. Just give him a little bait. Oh, here's a good point. I like that one. Tell him a few facts, most likely to whet his interest, or show him a quickie demonstration which does the same thing. Then make an appointment to see him later and give him the whole story. If you really arouse his interest, you may find he isn't busy at all. He'll take you to back to his office. <laughs> Whenever you face the problem of getting in, give it some real thought. Any message you can send in to the prospect that shows you would be interesting or amusing to talk to will help your chances. An imaginative salesman is a refreshing relief. There are too many humdrum Joe Blows from the Jones Company. <laughs> and that was chapter 13. So, we're getting close to the end. Just a couple more to go. Thanks for watching.